Sign up today. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now up by 204. Nasdaq's up 104. S&P's are up 21. Gold contract up 24 bucks, trading 18.36 an ounce. We got silver up by 59 cents, $27.61 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 88 cents, $57.73 a barrel notes and bonds. We have the 10-year down four ticks. Excuse me, folks. Trading 136.18. The 30-year off three at 166.20. And King Dollar. King Dollar down 119 ticks. Trading 90.019. The Euro is at 120. The Yen is at 105.31. And the British Pound is at 137 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. This uh, market, bottom line, is that on Friday... Closed at all-time highs on the S&P, NDX 100, NASDAQ Composite. Dow was just underneath them. They just took them all out, folks. The bottom line, yes, you have a contraction of volume going up, but guess what? You are holding price. Now, the bond market is what you want to keep your eye on out here. Uh, we are under the 136.26. 136.26 is the higher range in bonds in the 10-year. We are at 136.18. The yield on the 10-year out here this morning is 1.18. The 30-year, okay, is pushing 2% right now. It's a big number, folks, okay? That being said, in both cases, you have a huge contraction of volume. So we'll see whether we get a rejection of lower price and the bonds and notes start moving higher in price, lower in yield. The reason I'm saying this is that I don't see this market cracking until actually that turn actually happens. And what's intriguing about that is this, is that if these notes of bonds were down big today, the market would probably freak saying that, okay, guess what? Interest rates are going up and going up in a big way. Bottom line, I think rates are still going down. We'll see how this shakes out. King dollar, King dollar didn't hold price on Friday. You were up uh, about 150 ticks this morning, gave it up. Right now, you're down uh, 82 ticks, 90.955. Uh, Tom Brady, Tampa Bay, no doubt uh, did it, folks. Uh, did it in spades. They just got an outstanding team. I mean, uh, Mahomes is an outstanding quarterback. There's no two ways about that. But Tampa Bay, uh, you talk about having it together, offense, defense, the whole ball of wax. And, of course, uh, if you haven't heard yet, uh, Tommy has a new tiger, my son Tommy. So we got uh, a T4. We got a Tiger 4 out here. He had his uh, Brady shirt on, four days old, cheering for Brady. And needless to say, uh, he came through. So that's a beautiful thing. Let's go to uh, Chad in Maryland. Hey, Chad, what's going on? Hey, how are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? All right, just hanging in there. Um, I'm a newbie. I watch the show every day, and, of course, Reddit got me into this, so I didn't jump on that because everybody was on that bandwagon, so I jumped on something different. Um, I was wondering if you could review OCGN for me. Sure. There's How did been a you lot find of change out about since us? Friday. How did you find out about us? So, actually, my father-in-law told me that I needed to get into it, and I got into it when it was 212 a share, and I've got a little over 100 shares now. That's awesome. No, I mean finding TFNN. Oh, I just bruise on uh, YouTube. Cool. Okay, well, welcome to the Tiger family, man. Thanks. Okay, so, you know, you're not going to like what i got to say, meaning you got to take your money. <laughs> um so let's check it out. So the low this year is 17 cents. The high is 13.99. You got a big score here. You have five dollars and 95 cents today. Now, do you understand? Like when they're, you know, we got up to 13.99, and they're they're going to push out a huge amount of paper out here today. Do you understand that? 
Yeah, I know that last night they released news that um, somebody purchased 3 million shares from them at 7.62 a share. Okay, now this is different. Okay, so this company here, okay, they filed for a direct offering. And what that means is this. They're going to sell, and they're probably selling it right now as they're speaking. They're going to sell 23 million, uh, 23 million registered off uh, they're selling three million. That, that's right. They, so that's that's the company, okay? Um, that is purchased. Let's say it's developing a vaccine. Now. February tenth. What day is it today? Today's the ninth. Let me just read this again, okay? Eight. So when you're selling it at market. But they put a price on this. Okay, so today announced that it's entered into def the, a definite agreement with health core focused institutional investors for the sale of aggregate of 3 million shares. Okay, so this is what they're doing here. The gross proceeds, yeah, they sell this, they sold this way too low, but that's all right. We pick 23 million prior to deducting placement fees. Okay, so what's happening here is this. They, they found a couple health companies, right? Health focused institutional investors that they sold these three million shares to at $7.65, and that offering is going to close on February 10th. What it, what it doesn't say in here, Chad, and you'd, I'd have to do more work and find it, is that how fast can they sell that paper? Most times when you do a deal like this, and see it says at the very top, uh, a direct offering of common priced to, at a premium. I, it, was, it was definitely priced at a premium to the marketplace uh, of the close on Friday, it closed at five dollars on Friday. Yeah, it closed on Friday, so they they bought it up. Um, you know, the the bottom line is that when you get an equity that goes from uh, basically twenty six cents, you know, up to this level, you know, you got to kind of figure out, okay, do I want to take any money? Do I not want to take any money? What, what was? The, yeah, I mean, what is the? My real question to you, sir, is: This company dumped in twenty three million dollars into this. Obviously, they see a profit. But they see a profit right away. They can sell the stock right away. There's plenty of All companies right. that do this, see? You see what I'm saying? All right, I'm still learning. That's why I'm going to No, no, that's cool. So, so what happens with a deal like this is that they bought at 775 Now, that deal, this is what ends up happening. Let me see if there's an option on this for a second. So once what you're in a deal... they created a COVID vaccine that... Uh, yeah. It can be stored at room temperature. Okay. It's actually safe for infants. So. Right. So what happens is not an option on it. So this is harder to hedge for the client that actually bought it because it's going to close on the 10th. So what this means is this. So picture this. Picture that you bought this at 775, right? You're g it's going to close on the 10th. And today we said it's the 8th. Okay. So it's going to close on Wednesday. On Wednesday, you will actually have those shares, and you're crossing your fingers that this thing's going to stay above your 775 until Wednesday. Then you can basically, well, that's where I get a look at the, the prospectus, and I, I don't have it in front of me, as to how fast they can sell this. But when you're doing a direct listing, which they did, most times you can sell it ASAP. So I wouldn't be saying that they bought that just for the aspect of what they think they might have in the future. You see what I'm saying? All right. Thank you so much. Okay, Chad. Welcome to the Tiger family. Appreciate it, man. All right. Bye-bye. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. 
Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Hey there, I'm Andy Arbertine with Tiger Precious Metals and Stones. Whether you're looking to buy and sell precious metals or trying to find the perfect diamond ring, I'm here to help. I have over 15 years of experience with diamonds and precious metals. You can call me directly at 727-329-8245 and I will personally answer any questions you have and help you find exactly what you're looking for. I will be your personal concierge in the metal and stone business. Give me a call today, 727-329-8245. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 194. Nasdaq's up 94. S&P's are up 20. And, uh, you know, we were just talking with Chad there. One of the Tigers uh, really reminded me what, what I, I do say quite a bit. You know, Chad, there's another thing that you can do here. You know, bottom line is that uh, you could sell half your position. You're in this position, I, I believe, at like $2 or something. Uh, you could sell half your position, keep about 50 shares, and, you know, you go from, from there. Um, you know, the, bo the bottom line is that you're going to see... We're going to see a lot more of this, uh, in, you know, in, in the marketplace in general. And you, got to, you need fast fingers. That's the bottom line. You know, when you, when you take a look at the history of this stock, uh, you know, there's a great history. It was at $740 uh, in 2015. Uh, and then it goes down to uh, pennies, you know. So when you have something like that, uh, the bottom line, I understand, yes, the biotechs have been running like crazy um they're running there's there's no two ways about that but uh you're in this thing to make make money and uh you sell half of it guess what you're going to make money and you're going to sell 50 shares let's go take a look at uh, twi so twi let's see what we have here this is titan international they made of oh tires okay so that this is uh we were talking about this this is the tire business not a, just for monster machines okay construction mining military recreation the low is a dollar five the high is 795 they so let's see okay so we come off the bottom Okay, so we're going right into a vicious downdraft that was out there in uh, 20, 2018. That being said, I mean, this thing looks like it wants to run up to this uh, $10 area. You know, you're into this bar pretty good. We're at 743. Oh, not that. 633 was the bottom of the bar. That's the bar that it's trying to get through right there. Um, that's the bar. That's that's how this is shaking out. It's gonna it's gonna need it's gonna need more more volume in order to get through there. Put this on a monthly. 
So on a monthly, yeah, I'd stay right there. On a monthly, it looks to me like you're gonna you're gonna make it, man. You know, you, you, it's major. You know, you talk about uh, major resistance. I mean, you know, you can bring this back. People have been in a losing position for a long period of time on this baby. But guess what? The commodities, the, they're on a run, man. You know, these commodities. Uh, hey, we'll go over to the oil market for a second. I mean, the bottom line is that oil just will not give it up. And it looks to me, you know, WTI already hit uh, 60 bucks uh, last night. This, uh, and WTI is always ahead of the contracts that, uh, the crude contracts from the CME folks. Uh, that being said, um, you know, there's, there's no reason that uh, this little baby here <laughs> Uh, it doesn't want to get up and into the 60. Actually, it's 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 actually 60 to 65 dollars. If I put this on a continuous contract, what you're going to see is that there's basically you know not much in the way uh, into that 65 dollar area, and you'll see we traded in that area for a long period of time. I bring this up. I'm putting this on a 15 uh, year chart right now, and you're going to see before we broke down. Uh, bottom line is that look at this level here. That level, yeah, 66 bucks, man. So that thing is game. Let's get a Jose in Lakeland. Jose, what's going on, brother? Okay, I missed him. I got Was there anything good on TV I know. How about that? How about that Papa Bear, huh? Well, look, I mean, I have a little take, a little different take. I know Tom Brady, everyone is putting them high on the mantle and beatifying and canonizing them, but the NFL is just weak. Where's Dick Buckus, Deacon Jones? Where are the players that want to rip the head off of a quarterback? They're not around anymore. That's why he says he can play for eight more years. Well, I'd say I'd say that I'd say that those players were playing for Tampa, man. <laughs> that, I guess, yeah. That, um, that that defense is good, man, and that offense is good. I mean, we, hey, the, you know what the cool thing is, man? I really think I mean Brady flat out knows that's the team that won, and he made that very clear. And it's the team, man. I mean, you know, he's extraordinary. There's no doubt. But that team, man, he fired that team up, man. I mean, they fired themselves up, but. It was it was great watching, man. There's no doubt. Yeah, you know? I have to agree with that. Yeah. Uh, it's 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 pretty unusual that a quarterback goes to a new team and wins it. Uh, that's a pretty big deal. But Seriously, man. Yeah. I, I just think that the league is weak. The league is weak. They they've got to get some strong players. But hey, Tom, we did Morgan Stanley did did um, twelve a little over twelve million shares at least one day last week. That's what you said. Yeah. Um, I'm a believer that the NASDAQ is going to do a giant 17,000 short squeeze to about 17,000. Where does that bring the Dow, and what's going on with Morgan Stanley? Well, Morgan Stanley, so we're up 92 cents right now. It's been up pretty nice last week. No, it has. Back. Five days. I mean, it looks like it can go to the high, man. I mean, the high out there, it looks like it wants to go for it. With 74, 77 looks game again. You know, what you uh, want what, what, what you're gonna want to do, Jose, is that these interest rate structures are going to be important to Morgan Stanley and all the banks, okay? So the interest rate structure is still going with the bank, no doubt. That being said, I think these bonds are going to reject lower price in the next couple of days. And if that's the case, then the banks will take a little more heat because the banks aren't going up as much today as they could be. Let's put it that way. You know what I mean? In the 30 year, when I started the program, the 30 year was down 10 ticks. Now it's flat. So that's okay, so in your opinion, a stimulus deal within the next couple few weeks, what does that do to the bank, bank stocks? Wells Fargo and the rest of them. Well, I figure the stimulus deal, the way that that thing is working through, it's going to be like six weeks. The market knows about it. And, you know, more money in the economy should be good for all the equities. That being said, I think we're close to a high, you know. So it's like, okay, do we just do a small pullback for four or five days again? It's hard to tell, man. It really is. It's, I, I have a hard time, you know, technically this thing wants to pull back. Fundamentally, I have a hard time thinking that it's going to pull back when another $1.9 is going to go into the marketplace. 
because you know as companies get money they're they're basically buying everything i mean look at Bit bitcoin's up six thousand dollars this morning so <laughs> right right um uh, i think biden's gonna take out his big pen and do it himself. Uh, he's not going to wait. This guy's not going to wait. Oh, no, uh, no, they're not. They're going to do the budget resolution, but that's still going to take six weeks, I believe. Right. No, the budget resolution, that's going to be the deal. Right. No doubt. No doubt. Okay. Tom, one last point. Robin Hood, they're taking a lot of heat themselves. Citadel clears for them and takes a penny or two per trade. Yeah. Is that about right? Yeah. Yeah, and that and Citadel clears for almost everyone. It's not a clearing. It's a, it's a pay-to-play deal. So yeah. what happens, folks, is that when you look at your, your, your broker dealer, you know, the bottom line is that you're looking, let's say, $26.36. Well, for fractions of money, they, they're even just going for fractions of a penny, uh, Jose, and they're making that kind of money. Have Thank a great you. one, man. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow Industrials up 176, NASDAQ's up 75, S&P's up 17. We'll come right back. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks. If you're a trader in the market looking to find the path that leads to maximizing profits while decreasing risk, then now is a great time to try out Dave White's daily trading service, The Path of Least Resistance. Through the use of options and equity trades, Dave advises his subscribers on a daily basis of the current market conditions and what possible trade setups are on the horizon. The Path of Least Resistance is published every trading morning, often with updates intraday when initiating trades or closing out positions. Dave White has advised his clients of some outstanding winning options and equity trades in recent months, and now is a great time to try it out for yourself. New subscribers to the Path of Least Resistance receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the types of options and equity trades that are available by signing up for the Path of Least Resistance today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and selecting the newsletter tab. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up 177. Nasdaq's up 75. S&Ps are up uh, 18. Let's go to take a look at uh, Tseco. So copper has been on the move in a huge way, folks. Uh, Tseco is a uh, copper miner. Uh, hit an all-time high out here today, meaning the yearly high. Lows, 20 cents. The high is $1.48. 
And yeah, this is uh, now. This is what's. This is what I love about the mining sector in general. Actually, um, is that when you follow the mining sector folks, okay, and you know, you know, the companies that are involved. Well, this is going after a B point of an ABC structure on the way up right now. You're at 1.8 million. It's gonna get. It's gonna have the amount of juice that you're gonna need, which is 2.3. Uh, and if that's gonna be the case, if we get that confirmed one out here today, which it looks like we're going to, you got what 147. We got uh, 70. So we're talking about approximately a half a buck, which would get you into. Uh, what is that? Oh, I see. It's not that much more. Well, it gets you into about a buck, a buck sixty, and right now you're at one forty-three. Let me see what's up here, because the retracement was deep. Yeah, well, that'd make sense. Okay, so your next swing point. Oh, actually, your next your next swing point. The low is one sixty. The high is up there into two fifty. So that's where that baby looks like it's going. If we go over to SCCO. Okay, which is one of the largest copper stocks out there. You're going to see that they came into their swing point on Friday with Monster Volume. I love when this happens. Okay, the bottom line is that you got up to the uh, 75.27, and your all-time high is uh, that's today 73.19. One second. So that's not 73. Oh, 71. So the bottom line is you got an ABC structure up here. So 73, we got uh, 50, 55, 50, 58, 68, 13 bucks. Get you about, about 79. 79, that's where that baby wants to go to. And then if we go back to the copper contract, uh, what you'll see out here in the copper contract, we're at 366. Copper looks to me, folks, that we're going to all time highs. Um, it's at approximately 454. Uh, it was one straight line move. Uh, basically, well, for the last month, you just had a slight retracement. I mean, a very slight retracement, too. Uh, prior two months, you went straight line move on the way up. In fact, if we take a look at uh, the type of retracement that we did, which would tell you. Yeah, so you barely did a 0 0.382 retracement, and that's from uh, the, the leg up that started in October, not the lows that started uh, in September. That says, guess what? Here, I bring this back. What you're going to see here is that the 464, I believe, is the all-time high, and it looks to me like that's what we're going to be gunning for here. Put this back on a 20-year... I think it's 2011 that we had the deal. Yeah, 2011. Um, yeah, 464. You're, and right now you're at 366. So that's the way that baby looks like it's going to uh, basically uh, shake out. Some of the higher volume equities out here today, you have uh, AMC is uh, that's down 75 cents. Uh, Pelletier is up 350. You got uh, Genius Brands up 16 cents. We got American Airlines up 59. Um, you get uh, Advanced Micro up a buck 90. Inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness. Moderna is up 4.5 percent, or seven dollars. You get Nvidia up 4 percent, 21 bucks. You get PayPal up 3.8, and you get Clack up 3.2. Taken away from it. Um, CGen is down 5.6. You get Zoom off 2.5. Peloton's off 2.4, and CSX is off at 1.6. Nothing heavy, man, uh, on the way down out there. Uh, we go take a look at the uh, Dow Industrials, which did get into a new high out here today. Uh, the leaders inside of the Dow Industrials today, you get Disney's up by putting 37 positive points. Goldman 36, Caterpillar 20. Boeing 15. Taken away from it, we have uh, Big Mac uh, minus 13, Procter & Gamble 4, you got Apple 3. So uh, all these, uh, well, let's go to the small caps. Uh, small caps, I don't believe that that had hit, uh, yeah, that, well, they were all at highs. That, so every indice, well, that, that had closed at a high also uh, on Friday. So every indice right now, folks, is, is at a high. 
And if we take a look at this trend for a second, let's just see where these are shaking out. So the trend is running 1.33, 1.22, which is actually high on the aspect of a market being up. And the tick, oh, this is going to get interesting. So, nope, it was on the open. When I said it was going to get interesting, we had a plus 14.50, folks, okay? But what happens with the tick is that you can't count the opening or close. So what the tick is, the tick is you take all the stocks that are in the New York Stock Exchange, and you have the bid and you have the offer. And the reason that you don't use the opening, because there's, there's so many trades at the open. After that, however, is that when you get a high positive tick, like a 1450, if we got that in the middle of the day, that would be a warning that, guess what? Everyone was buying simultaneously within about a minute on the offer, okay? And when you get that a couple times in the marketplace, that's when the uh, market is ready to turn. The froth in the market right now is there. There's no doubt about it. In fact, I got to get this. Uh, yeah, here it is. I got to get. Here's, here's, a, here's a quote that one of the Tigers put in uh, the den. Now, it's not their quote, it's a quote uh, out, you know, more than likely at Reddit. Yeah, it's at Reddit or somewhere else. Who knows? Uh, and the, here it is the, when we take a look at the sentiment. You greatly. Oh, almost, uh, let me get it back up again. One second. Where are you? Oh. You greatly underestimate the power of young people struggling to make ends meet, as well as social media, Reddit. There won't be a bear market. It really isn't even plausible at this point with inflation and the rate of advancement in tech and... Uh, uh, tech and what? Oh, my God. One second. Sorry about this. Where is it? Uh, with tech and society. Those, those, that's what does happen at highs, folks. The, the, the bottom line is that, um, you know, when you think that nothing, well, when there's actually statements out there, the, the, this is, the, the, sad, the sad part is um, that there's plenty of folks that actually believe it. I, I, I get it, okay? And it's, it's, it's intense. Uh, if we look at GameStop, GameStop's at 307. I mean, there's going to be still plenty of believers that for some reason they think that, um, you know, the stock wants to get higher. It's like, okay, why, why do you, you want to be higher when GameStop's has been basically going down forever? Well, you know, yes, the Internet and gang warfare um, in the market, okay, have power. But it's very limited power, folks. That's, that's very limited. You can, you can catch the market once or twice, and then every other three or four weeks. That's about it. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Hey there, I'm Andy Arbertine with Tiger Precious Metals and Stones. Whether you're looking to buy and sell precious metals or trying to find the perfect diamond ring, I'm here to help. I have over 15 years of experience with diamonds and precious metals. You can call me directly at 727-329-8245, and I will personally answer any questions you have and help you find exactly what you're looking for. I will be your personal concierge in the metal and stone business. Give me a call today, 727-329-8245. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. 
Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials up 193. You get the Nasdaq up 87. S&Ps are up 20. Uh, gold's up uh, 26. You got uh, silver up uh, 86. King dollar down uh, 114. Uh, let's go to the 30-year, because the 30-year, folks, uh, we started the show. Uh, bottom line is that the 30-year is rejecting lower price out here this morning. Uh, so we get down to 166.03. Uh, you're 23 ticks off of that. Uh, so this is going to be interesting watching this uh, thing shake out. We're up four ticks right now. And the reason I'm watching it so closely, folks, is that my take is that if, you know, we do get a rejection of lower price uh, in the note and bond market, that we are right at the turn. That's where I'm going to I'm kind of keying off of those in order to basically shot the S&P. Um, you know, the, the, the NDX 100 worries me a bit uh, because of the fact, meaning if I was going to sell the S&P, I mean the NDX. The reason being is that Microsoft, uh, bottom line, isn't a confirmed ABC structure on the way up. The real question is going to be, uh, is Microsoft going to get it done? Uh, but it's, always, it's always, always dangerous when you have a, a high-end tech stock that is in an ABC structure on the way up. And uh, Microsoft would have to basically get under. We're at 242. Uh, that would have to get under the. What is that? Two. Oh, my God. Sorry about that, folks. What is that? Yeah, two. Well, it's, it's almost ten dollars less. It's two. It's 234. Uh, that would have would have to get under. Now, one stock doesn't doesn't make the market. That's for sure. Um, you know, the S&P has shown that you have four different sells that sell downs in the last 15, 16 days. So the real question is going to be uh, what would basically tip the scales a bit, push it back. And what, you ha what we do have is this. We still have plenty of earnings that are coming out. What we don't have is that, you, you know, you don't have window dressing happening. Um, you have we know that the stimulus is going to be there. That's going to come out. Uh, then the real question is going to be what else is in the marketplace or when does folks actually decide that they want to start taking some money. That's kind of, that's kind of where this shakes out. That's what it looks like to me. And thus far, you know, more money has been absolutely coming in the marketplace versus going out of the marketplace. Uh, we take a look um, you know, Bitcoin, there, there's no doubt. Um, uh, what you have with Bitcoin out here, uh, Bitcoin probably is an ABC structure up, and it looks like it's, uh, what is this, 24,000 plus uh, 24, what is it, third? Yeah, it's like 54 grand. Right now, you're at 40, 43. We hit 44, but it ripped apart this last high in a big way. 
So, of course, we don't have volume on this, uh, but the bottom line, that's where it can go. And, you know, for the folks that have it, God bless them. The bottom line is that there's a lot of bread there. Uh, there's a huge amount of bread that has been made uh, ASAP. There's no doubt about that. Let's go take a look at Zoom. One of the targets are looking, uh, is this uh, maybe an ABC structure on the way down? A Zoom communication, uh, the low for the year is, fifth, is $86. The high is $588. And no, I would just say this is a consolidation. Uh, but what you do have with Zoom, let's see, has it ever filled this gap? So that gap, so you get a monster gap at uh, 376. We got down to, no, three. 36. Oh, God. Yeah, we got down to 350, you know. What you did, what you did get on Friday, though, uh, did we get, let me just see this, 164. Actually, you got a sign of strength in Zoom on Friday. This thing looks like it wants to be a little bit higher before it's going lower. That's how that uh, baby is shaking out. Uh, what we still, let's go over to Google. We take a look at Google, Amazon. Uh, Google out here this morning, that's down eight bucks. That's a sideways move, however. We take a look at Amazon. Sideways move also. It's down 26. Apple, same deal. Yeah, it's the it's the it's the biotechs that basically um, are running once again. Now these biotechs have been running for a long period of time. Uh, you know, if, if you, when you when you look back on market highs, I've always seen that biotechs are the last ones to run. Now that that being said, man, these biotechs have been running for about a year now. So uh, yeah, let's let's pull up the uh, we'll pull up the this is the triple direction. Uh, this is L-A-B-U, uh, this trades, uh, this is the uh, biotech three times uh, exchange traded fund. The low for the year is $12. The high is $173. <laughs> so that says quite a bit, man. Uh, there, there's no doubt about that. That's, this has been a tear uh, on the upward side. And listen, it makes sense because the bottom line is that, uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of New ways out there that uh, these biotechs are coming in, and uh, whether it's medicine, whether it's technology, they're they're doing things. There's no doubt about that. We take a look at the uh, the amount of uh, uh, COVID uh, shots that are going to be out there, and they're, they're not going to go away. Meaning, uh, it's not going to be a one-time deal. So. I can see why some of these companies are still moving. Platinum. Let's go take a look at the platinum market. So, PL1. So, we'll take a look. What you have with platinum is this. Platinum hit 11.86 today. And this has, been, this has been a nice move. This is a big move out here today. I mean, we go back three months in platinum. Platinum was uh, down into the $925 area. You're at 11.85 right now. And platinum, you know, for years... Uh, decades, not just years, decades, it trade over the price of gold. Uh, right now, this is going to be a, a big move uh, where it, yeah, so this is the move right here. Okay, so check this out, folks. We're at 1186. That number, right, at 1186 to 1196, if we bust that number, you are going to be up into the Fourteen ninety to fifteen hundred dollar area very quick. This this got real juice, man. And once you get into that area, then you, you're going to start talking action, man. Uh, there's, now there's a huge amount of resistance once you get up to that area. But that being said, what's going to be intriguing in the platinum market is this: that type of resistance, I don't think, is going to be the same type of resistance that we have inside a gold market or a silver market. The reason being is that there's not a lot of people that actually own platinum, that, the physical metal. That's, that's kind of how that shakes out. We'll see when we get there. But that's kind of uh, my take on it. It's not like owning equities. Um, you know, there's not a lot of platinum coins out there. Um, you know, so different, little different ballgame.
Dow Industrials up 188, Nasdaq up 94, S&P's up 20. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Back in the day, I joined Hotel California in 2006, and like many of you, was drawn in by, Bam! as well as, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. You see, I believe that everything in life happens for us, not to us. And Tom ignited the fire within me to want to learn how to master the markets. So how did I go from knowing nothing about technical analysis to becoming the number one market timer for the S&P 500 in 2018 and the number two market timer in 2019? Simply put, I hired coaches with a proven track record, which led me to a whole new set of tools that I created to interpret the message of buyers and sellers. I would love the opportunity to teach you this award-winning set of tools and help you improve your market timing. You can test drive my newsletter service, Mastering Probabilities, for the next 30 days with no risk to you. Plus, you'll gain access to archive workshops that'll take you step-by-step -step through my system. Sign up today by going to the homepage of TFNN.com and selecting Mastering Probability in the newsletter tab. Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. The printing presses are working 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The US deficit has risen 200% in one year with no end in sight. The markets are looking for an additional stimulus bill to get us through this once in a generation pandemic. There is no free lunch, folks. The more stimulus dollars put into the marketplace, the less your dollar is worth each and every day. This is the time to protect yourself with a portion of your portfolio in the metal market. The Gold Report comes out each Monday morning. I bisect and dissect the dollar. Silver, gold, the XAU, and the HUI. The Gold Report is a long-term hedge against the dilution of your buying power. The U.S. has put more than $6 trillion into the marketplace in the last six months, with more expected in the next few months. The market did and does need the stimulus, but it will have long-term implications on our buying power. The Gold Report comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Go to TFNN.com and order the Gold Report now. Protect your buying power. Order the Gold Report now. With markets trading with extreme volatility and peaks and troughs everywhere, regardless of what you're looking at in the markets, this is a great time to see the type of analysis Basil Chapman delivers for his subscribers every market day with the opening call newsletter. Basil has been analyzing markets, providing his take for subscribers to his trading services since 1984. Every morning, Basil publishes an update for his subscribers, along with weekend and evening updates when warranted. The opening call provides traders a daily market overview with regard to the direction of the key indices, selective stocks and commodities, along with specific recommendations, including stops and targets. You also gain instant access to Basil's subscriber webinar archive from earlier this year, a dark cloud cover and essential market analysis. Ride the Chapman wave today by signing up for the opening call newsletter on the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. New subscribers get a 30 day money back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 165. You get the Nasdaq up 90. S&Ps are up by 17 and a half. Uh, you did have, uh, you know, uh, one of them, <laughs> uh, one of the moving pieces, no doubt, uh, inside of uh, Bitcoin this morning is that would you, uh, you know, you, te you have Tesla up another $17.30. You had Tesla filing um, that, uh, let's see what they said. Tesla invested $1.5 Billion in Bitcoin and signals that its intent to begin accepting the cryptocurrency as a form of payment, sending prices to the record. The bottom line chief executive Elon Musk uh, said in a filing this morning uh, it made the bet on Bitcoin after updating an investment policy last month to allow it to buy digital assets as well as gold bullion and gold exchange traded funds. So, uh, and he's, uh, you know, <laughs> there's, a, there's a new. Uh, deal in town at the pennies folks which is like dog coin it's spelled d-o-g-e-c-o-n-e -E. uh they've been pumping that up uh musk has in general uh he's saying it's a joke now but the bottom line is that he has he has pumped it from uh one cent uh to two cents 
uh, to 8.2 cents this morning. He hit 8.2 cents. And uh, he's got a, a few other, uh, let's see, Snoop Dogg's out there pumping it out uh, over the weekend, too. And uh, one of the... Uh, Gene Simmons, man. Big tongue. Good old Gene Simmons from Kiss. Hey, bottom line is that anything and everything is game out here right now, folks. That's how this goes. Uh, you know, there, there's no doubt about it. You're going you're gonna to see people jumping on anything and everything, which is kind of just like if one thing moves, everyone's going to try to go somewhere else and say, okay, when is this going to move? Stay right there, folks. We're going to think of some coming up next. That I'm Mr. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. I'll be back this afternoon. Thanks, folks. Have a great one. Have a safe one.